if you're not functional in training and you're still using machines and bodybuilding exercises, welcome to irrelevancy. I mean, do you even know how to hold proper knee alignment while twisting your upper body with good core activation? I use functional training to help me better live my non-functional lifestyle. I use box jumps because they help me climb the one step that I need to traverse in order to get into work each day. Battle ropes train my body to have the capacity to shake people's hands. Kettlebell swings improve my performance of throwing things into the garbage. Planks prepare my body to lean forward onto my desk without collapsing. With functional training, you move the way nature intended. And you do this in a gym, which is where nature intended for you to move the way nature intended. Preventing injuries is one of my favorite benefits of functional training. I like to obsess about injuries that I don't have and then focus on how functional training will help me prevent those injuries that I've never had. Avoiding what was never there is fitness productivity at its best. I'm all about kettlebell. Kettlebell training makes you better at everything in life but mostly they only make you better at kettlebell training. Because kettlebells help you build less muscle than traditional bodybuilding exercises, they give you a better workout. With this exercise, I use 90% less weight than with regular back squats, but my legs get a better workout because I'm holding the kettlebell in front of me, which gives me more shoulder activation. One of the biggest benefits of kettlebells is improved calluses. My grandfather always said, you can judge a man based on the size of his calluses. My calluses are also a pretty big turn on for my girlfriend. She acts like they're not, but they are. When I see people in the gym who aren't doing functional training, I criticize them in a very educational way because I care. That is doing absolutely nothing to improve your balance. All you're doing is building really big chest muscles that won't help you at all the next time you have to fight off a grizzly bear. Bicep curls? I didn't know you had such an undeveloped nervous system. And those won't do a thing to improve your knee alignment, which makes these a useless exercise. Your core is way more active with functional training because it has to turn on to stabilize you. And that somehow fascinates me. I don't care about making my muscles bigger and more cut. I just care about making my body function better so I can enjoy life more. And I think I finally convinced myself that I believe that. A lot of my functional training is geared around improving my jujitsu performance, even though I've never done jujitsu in my life, but it just seems like the right thing to do. Jujitsu is basically the same thing as yoga, except there's more choking involved. I also hit the supplements hard and fast. I'm all about whey protein and at least two other powders. I don't even care what they are because I don't know that it matters. I also supplement my powder supplements with capsule-based supplements. I've also cut food out of my life so I can stay more devoted to my supplement regimen. I'm not shy about setting up my phone to take a video of me crushing a set of push presses and then posting it to my Instagram. Yet I find I get best results when I act like I'm not setting up my phone for a video in the gym when I'm setting up my phone for a video in the gym. Hey, how's it going? There's no question about it. My functional training leaves me very well prepared for my pretend high intensity lifestyle. If you want to become less dysfunctional and more functional, go to onnit.com slash JP so you can save 10% off all Onnit products.